Welcome to Jonesin, where we go over trippy true crime and the drama that surrounds it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Queen B's sending YouTube up on a Monday. <laughs> so yeah, this woman is a complete liar. Molly's a fucking complete Thank moron. You. She lies about my husband. She lies about this, that. Mallory is the biggest piece of shit. I'm going to tell you about Mallory. And go over to Bombshells. Bombshell read off her crazy fucking history of stealing cars. You want to get on me for accidentally walking out of a freaking store with a $5 mascara? Fuck you. Bitch, that's so goddamn old. Well, nobody give a fuck. You act like you're fucking hurting somebody by saying she used to fucking boost cars. Bitch, she ain't doing that today, is she? Fuck no, yeah. she ain't. Even if she did, bitch, you yeah. stealing money out people's purse right now under false pretenses. Yeah, right. I mean, like, let's get back to that, Mallory. Yuck. Fucking, you know, Mallory is a fucking Biden supporter. That's only her fucking tenth problem, right? And uh, she is a big Trump supporter. You know, get it together, fucking Mallory. You're so, and you know what? You can't even vote anyway, motherfucker. You did time in jail. Why do you fucking care? You don't pay taxes, brother. You don't pay taxes. You motherfucker. Living at home with your fucking... Dude, you live at home. Grow a pair. You can't fucking vote, bitch. You can't fucking vote. Grow a pair, bitch. And guess what? They run a background check on you when you do TV. Jonathan can't be on it. You fucking blue You can't be on fucking TV, bro. Don't you know that? Fucking vendetta, how you can't fucking be on TV? Fucking smelly bitch. They run a fucking background check on you, bro. You think you're gonna be on fucking TV with a fucking record like that? Oh my god. They're not gonna pay you fucking thousands of dollars to be on fucking TV with a fucking record like that? Oh my god. Stealing cars, doing time, you can't be on fucking TV. So you know what this bitch fucking did? She set it up, she came to my house looking for shit. That's why she came to my house. You fucking bitch. You fucking looking like a fucking tree. She looks like a giant fucking tree. Take notice. Take fucking Mallory and put it side by side. She looks like a fucking talking tree from the Wizard of Oz. Holy shit. Look, I'm talking. I feel like I'm back in the fucking Bronx with my fucking father and everybody that lives on fucking, oh, Grand Concourse. Holy shit. The bitch came out there with a fucking agenda. She wanted to start with me. She was, she was casing my fucking house. The bitch was casing my fucking house. But I'll tell you what, you know what the bitch wasn't casing? And this shit was interesting as fuck. I brought her into my closet, right? This is the best part of the trip. Because remember when I said Mallory would go home with a king's ransom? We walked through my closet. She only spent 30 seconds, 30 seconds in it. Not even two minutes. Wanna why? She can't fit into anything. I was gonna let the bitch go home with tons of fucking clothes and shit, but the bitch can't fit into anything. <laughs> That's a drag queen's fucking heaven. Holy shit. Bitch. My closet is filled with drag queen fucking jewelry. Drag queens would go fucking crazy and lose their fucking minds and be like, holy shit, she's got chandelier earrings and big chunky fucking shit. That bitch said, oh no, I can't compete with this bitch. Fuck you. You ain't got nothing to say about that. Mm-mm. Ha! She couldn't handle it. She saw all that fucking bling. She saw all those fucking names I'd said, oh shit. I think the book stops at those fucking Gucci sunglasses. Yes, bitch, that'll be the nicest fucking thing you ever fucking own. So make sure you don't fucking sit on them. I put that fucking spork or whatever right into your little fucking chest. The little fucking one tit is bigger than the other, bro. What the fuck did you do to yourself? Everything you did went wrong. You looked so much better as a dude. You should have stayed that way. You, you just fucked your shit up. But this is what you did. You fucked it. Like I said, you couldn't cut it in the real world as a fucking man. And now we know why. You had shit going as a man. Then you fucked your life up stealing fucking cars and shit. Uh, Yuck. My life will be so much better as a woman. Put the fuck out. She's being dirty as hell right now. Shit, you talk about a fucking homophobic person. That's what she... Cuts like a knife. Ah, uh, now we all know. Bombshell fucked you up. Bombshell fucked you up and did the best dragging ever. And that shit was mad funny.
Yuck. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Bye.